all welcome back to my channel today we will discuss the data types in c programming language data types means the type of data which you are going to store in a particular variable and how many type of data types are provided by the c language now i'm talking about what the variable first of all we go for variable Variable means what? Basically, variable is nothing. It's like a container which contains what? The value. Variable means which can vary its value. Which can vary its value means you can change the values as per your requirement are called what the variables. Like suppose I'm taking an example. I'm using what the statement three plus five. In my program. This is required to add two numbers that are three and five. Then I have to obviously write what three plus five. Now again I want to add up two numbers thirteen plus five, then thirteen plus fifty, then two thirteen plus fifty. Now what is the problem here is every time I need to change my statement to execute my desired value. to overcome this problem you can store these value into the variables like if i say a and b i am storing 3 in a 5 in b and i am writing a plus b if i do 13 130 50 250 11 30 whatever my statement will remain same this is the this is the benefit of variable means variable can change its value but the statement will remain same well, so a and b are here what behaving like variables now which type of value a will store it can store 5 5.5 at or hello 5 is what the whole number 5.5 is what the decimal number x is a character hello is a string the block of characters means which type of value a is going to store is called what the data type of a a in if i declare integer a then it will store what the whole number if i want a to store the decimal numbers in my whole whole program then i have to declare according to that depending upon that we have three type of data types first is what primitive data types second is derived or referenced data types third are what user defined data type in primitive data types we have integer float and cat the three basic data types derived are what arrays and pointers and user defined data types are what structures enums linked list etc now first of all primitive data type primitive data types are basically the data types which are provided by the language itself are called what the primitive data types now next are what derived data type derived or reference data types are what the data types which are derived from the primitive data types we refer the value of those data types with the memory location and user defined data types are what basically the data types which are defined by the user as per their requirement structures enum linked list are the examples of user defined data types derived data types and user de defined data types we will discuss in our further videos today we will discuss what the basic data types that are called what the primitive data types the primitive data types are of three types first is what integer data type the whole number if you want to store no decimal number then you need to use what integer data type int is the keyword to define what integer data type it will take two bytes in the memory float if you want to store decimal value in a particular variable then you need to use what float data type that are, that will take what four bytes in the memory and char if you want to store character then you need to use what char data type 
it will take a single byte in the memory one more data type that is called void void is a data type which means nothing it is basically used as a return type of any function two bytes now how integer will depict float and char means if you want to take integer from the user if you want to print the value of any integer then you need what the conversion specification for that integer has what percent t float has percent f and percent c is for character now they have some range integer and float have what some range some range means for example integer has the range like this is the number line integer has minus 327682 to positive 32767 if you want to store if i am declaring a variable called int a and i want to store what 40000 in it can i no because the range of integer is 32000 minus 32768 to positive 32767 if i want to store 40000 then i have to exceed the range of integer then to exceed the range of integer you need to use what long int it will take four bytes in the memory and float to enhance to exceed the range of float variable then you need to use double here double for float long for integer one more data type that is called what unsigned if i say a is equal to 30000 33000 now a has the value 33000 but i cannot store 33000 in two bytes integer i have to take what the long because the range of integer is 32767 then uh, what i need to do is i have to take what the long but for a small difference i need to spend what the double almost double memory then what is the solution c provides one more data type that is called what unsigned unsigned int unsigned int unsigned float unsigned long unsigned double and all unsigned means what is the number which is unsigned 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 means a positive number the number without sign is always positive number then if you declare unsigned int a then the negative value will add up here in the positives 5 3 5 5 6 means the range of integer will become what unsigned 0 to 65000 but make sure your variable is not going to use any negative value then only you can use what unsigned variable now in now within two bytes you can store the value of 0 to 65535 this is the use of unsigned it these are the now these are the basic data types are here these are called what the primitive data types i hope you got the information about data types and the date type of data types what are the ranges how you use the data types we will discuss in our further video as we will further discuss derived and user defined data types also and how to use primitive data types in our programs If you like my video kindly press like button share it subscribe it tell them very good